Yeah. I'm two, I'm two, on one day on my third. I was too broke, now I'm too rich. Made a hundred K on my third shift. I'm a boy, so boy, no more gangsta. And you a boy, man, we've been getting money for a long time. Yeah, it does for me, it does. Yeah, you're in a all uh, white right now. Uh, all blue. Alright, I'm not going to do it just yet. Hang on. God, I do know one thing, my back is fucking killing me. Dude, I got, I do know I got to win though. On the couch with my shoe up, and we was getting that record label money before they knew us. And we were playing oh, God, my back was killed. Yeah, I walked it. Ooh, oh, with right now. Yeah, I got you. Ooh, right now. Yeah, I got you. Right now. Nothing. Need a Uber. Right now. Right now. Need crew love. Right now. Cause we two up. Right now. Ooh, I'm up right now. Fuck you, Scrambler. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field. Oh, we got one person watching right now. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set. We're set as the Steelers are ready to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 point score gives yourself your you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On third down, Elliott and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a but field Yeah, goal. I did score. And the successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> Early in November. Uh, but they will be a wild card. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Fuck you, scam, dude. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to put a screen soon. Here's Newton. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Being chased out left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Well, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. On second down, Elliott, and he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the room. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. First down, it's Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one yard. You're line. lucky it's not. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. From the end zone, Newton. Williams loses the football, and it looks like Steeler football. It is. The first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. They've got it first and goal at the seven. After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. 
Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So, as you said, and he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Steven Anderson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. point and the lead grows to 10 nothing Boswell on now some tell me this kick just got fucked this will be fielded at the eight and now running right through it and nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line and the Panthers coming out now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Trucks over him. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they call the field general. Here we go, Newton on first down. He's going to air one out. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Josh Gordon, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. As a and now it's blocked. Nice try, though. Gano out to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The all-pro linebacker, Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Drops it underneath, Elliott. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in his own blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. 12 more yards there and another first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. They keep on the ground with Allen. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On 
On second down, here's Roethlisberger. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Thomas Davis leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Go, go. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He gets it to Brown, complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Two first quarter touchdowns. Oh, passes fuck. out to Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. And oh, it's blocked. Ah, you got a block in there, buddy. Nice. Well on now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. I actually wonder how many guys in here are actually watching this right now. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Newton to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good gain. A good first down call as the screen play gets them nine. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Newton now on second down. Steps away to his left. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, you've got a receiver here. He's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. Throwing again is Newton. He'll let this thing go for six. This is caught at the 20. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. They give him a gain of 38. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Josh Gordon, touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. This is taken at his four. Broken tackle. Turn. They'll be set up well when we resume action in the second quarter. You got to even, you even got to admit, that was a hell of a fucking return. A first down to carry by Elliott. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal gain. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And the Steelers on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. A dump off to Elliott. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. 
Ezekiel Elliott, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because he's going to cover. Damn. And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over. Well, who got the ball offense. first? They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little oh, bit. Oh, I thought so. I did. They Wasn't stayed hunt? the course and really ran oh, the ship. Oh, yeah, the that's right. Well, let's face it. All the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game. Can fight it. He lost the football. It's out. But fortunately, a Panther was right, able you're to lucky. get on this. Fuck so recovered Carolina that. keeps the ball. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in. He's got a man complete. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Emmanuel Sanders, 81 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open Damn. has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Gano out to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Big Ben and the Steelers with a I'm first and 10 at their 25-yard right line. Now Roethlisberger. On the left side, it's McDonald. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Set! Two thirty. So on first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Now Roethlisberger. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact. Pass God, interference. That, I have and yet I to see that, that actually called. That's the first time I've seen it called totally here. So because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. Here's the crack. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Oftentimes you say some guys have a knack for creating turnovers. He forced a fumble last week, forces another one. And one of my good coaching buddies, Frank Delano, always told me, hey, Davis, creating turnovers is not as much about skill 
as it is about desire. Oh, I thought it was going to be will, because will rhyme with skill. Come on. We're going with desire. We're going with desire. What are you, the rod master now? And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down, Newton. And an Allen run. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Oh, my oh, Cam. There's times when I'm not analyzing up here. I'm just appreciating. Led NFL quarterbacks in rushing last year. He is truly the ultimate weapon at that position. And that's incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. You're just there fucking was lucky that wasn't picked. Zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Second and ten, Newton again. And this one is incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it's third down. Try to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you Thank know, you know wild chain, please come man. Tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Throwing on third down, Newton. And look at this Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by the all pro linebacker, it's Von Miller, and he's going to get this one to the 23 yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And this one's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott. And that'll bring up second down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this game, don't you? I mean, this phase is not the yes! first coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. A really nice gain of but. 25 yards. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of yep. something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? Somebody... Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance, and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Boswell for the extra point. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that makes this a nine-point game. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. Yeah, nice bitch. return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Had three interceptions in this game, and I would have to think I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He got 29 yards that time. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this uh, game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Newton now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. Newton. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. 
Oh, and now he bowls him over. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. What the fuck's he bitching about now? And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set Fucking of downs. Fucking Miller. On first and 10, Newton. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Back to throw, Newton. Now they go screen. It's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of the guy I played with way back when who told me. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. And all he takes off with it. It's a fake. He gets it to Thomas. And that would come nice beautifully. Try. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Gano out to kick this one away. Well, that's just and that's right over now. the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times, it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you got to like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. Eight, 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 eight. Jack 16. Back, back, back. On second down, Roethlisberger. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. Let's go, let's go. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. The give is to Elliott. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here we go. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Nine. Back 20. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Now good hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And his guys will set up shot at midfield at the 50-yard line. A lot of times we talk about being opportunistic as a defense as a whole. Right now, it's becoming just one guy on this defense. And he is doing such a fantastic job because everyone emphasizes taking the ball away, going after the football. 
but some people just have a special knack for it. He forced two fumbles last week, and there the pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they need the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Sanders has it over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Newton on first down. He's going to go up top for the end. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Cam Newton with his fifth touchdown pass of the God game. Damn, he went. These shit. guys are able to strike for six. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and oh, forth. Oh, actually, I've been so fucking changing the damn shit up. Coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up. And we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. And fun to watch. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Steelers set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Man open left side is Brown. And touchdown, Steelers. Antonio Brown in the final seconds of the first half. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. Extra point now by Boswell. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another his third so far. Boswell on now to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. A final shot before the break. Newton. He's going to wind up in there. That's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching okay, so it was the twenty-one. Time was already out. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. Right, we'll send you down to Orlando, for a second. We check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drop. All right, I'll be right back.
just past the 30 yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here. This to has definitely been a good game, quarter. though. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But now he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Luke Keekley in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Roethlisberger. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Keekley that picks it. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the time they wanted to set. Fucking That's shut the fuck up in there. Of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that. Was that happened to you before? No, no, but stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Ten start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to face a third down. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what yeah, they're shooting need for. To win this. Come up on third down. I want to take the head of my division. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards won't be enough here. As that'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and here's Graham Gano now in the field goal unit for the Panthers. This is just a 24-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right oh, head through. Yourself, bucket field goal. I'll take and it. With that, they move ahead by a point here in this third quarter. Now they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. This one taken just inside the ten. <laughs> And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. All right, let's go get it now, right? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. Yeah, he's going to get this deep on the Carolina side of the field. It's a big play there for the Steelers. 46 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Ready? Blue 30! Again to Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll lead here to a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two. Here's Elliott. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. But it looked like the Steelers were able to recover, and they will indeed hold on to the ball. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, 
Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. This will be caught at about the six. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And his pass incomplete. The great veteran Clay Matthews able to knock that one away in coverage. Well, that's a perfect example of how he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's game. He is just all around the football right now, isn't he? That he is, and it's funny because I talked with the coaching staff about drills that they do in practice, and one of them is called matching hands. And as soon as that hand is launched by the quarterback, you throw up the opposite hand and match that hand with the QB, and oftentimes you're able to knock it away as we just saw there. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Third and goal, Roethlisberger. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam down. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You <laughs> put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that'll help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one, too. Super tall. <laughs> That's gonna go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Gotta give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this Well, this is taken in, it's complete. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Josh Gordon with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. And his guys are able to strike for six. Gano the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Damn, fucking start. Gano out to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock Dalvin away and bring up second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Set! Blue 30! Second and 10 now. It's Roethlisberger. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up a third down. 
I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Third and two. Now Roethlisberger. Now the ball comes loose. God and damn it, you dumb fuck. Recover. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy okay. didn't I'm do. I'm pretty sure you're going to win this shit up. now. In this case, my team's just done start fucking up. Knocked it free, made a big play. Following the fumble recovery, Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The former Buckeye, Cameron Hayward. And it'll make this a second and long. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. He's going to let this one go deep. That's going to be caught. Fuck this bullshit. Touchdown, I'm fucking trying. I'm trying to figure out why my fucking guys ain't covering like they fucking supposed to be because I'm not doing blitz all the fucking time. That shit's pissing me off. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. Oh, good luck on your goddamn fucking win. This is bullshit. Extra point try, good by Gano, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gano out to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now out come the Steelers. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football no, team. No, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck's the wrong with my team. They were doing field. good for a minute. And all of a sudden, oh, we don't give a right to us anymore. Back up. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and ten at their own 26. Now it's Roethlisberger. He fuck it, fuck it. You fucking win, I come. Picked up by Thomas Davis. No, I'm fucking getting pissed at this shit. Fuck, all of a sudden, they say, oh, we're just going to suck so you can fucking not get in the fucking playoffs. Because, no, I got to fucking win. No, no, honestly, I probably won't. Not if I don't win my fucking division. Not if I don't win my fucking division, I won't. Is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are the short and things different than what he expected? And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Stefan Tulin in there to drop him, and he continues to wreak havoc in offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. On second down, here's Newton. Trying to lay one up deep. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off down near the five, and he will take it out to the 25-yard line. Piss me off, bitch. They set themselves behind the chains, trying to get it all back in one play. And no, that, that fucking cam, bitch. Working his way into a 3 0 count, right? You're behind. Oh, I always fucking hate him anyway. Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. No, there's a reason I hate Cam. It goes back to fucking college why I hate him. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Remember, he fucking played for Auburn. didn't get everything they wanted out of that play, but the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. On the left side, it's McDonald. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there. I the don't know. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Drops it underneath, Daly. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. 
Oh, yeah, crack me, big guy. God damn, what the fuck? Game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. If you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for batting it away, but unable to come up with the interception and sometimes that joke does come true guys are on defense for a reason maybe their hands aren't quite as skillful as the guys on offense there's a lot of credit on that play for just knocking it away and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7 a really good pickup of 28 yards we always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football. Well, oh, Elliott gonna be hit. He coughs it up, loose football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. Fuck. The I'm still trying, Barry. You fuck. 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 Oh, fuck yourself. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that. No, one. I'm fuck, and it could no be this is fucking breaker. bullshit. From a defensive perspective, I'm, I'm just going to fucking not even bother trying anymore this season, though. I don't even care long. anymore. Gano the extra point, and the decision bullshit. to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And no, I'm not, not, no, I will fucking lose this. Once I fucking lose and another game, I start fucking losing more and more and more. Away following that fumble return. This is taken at his four. So quick on the spin. Oh, he's spinning, man. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down fuck there. Fuck my we team, hear fuck the, man, the fuck him. All all the shit. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and ten. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Trying for Cooper again, this time he finds it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And that goes for a gain of 31. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. That one complete, Elliott. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Amari Cooper hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. And now Big Ben will lead the Steelers up to go for two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here today. And he stopped you quickly twice and then fucking score twice. Boswell on now. If I can fucking do that, away. I'll be happy. Here's Christian McCaffrey to return it. What, did you do a fucking onside kick? Return? At the 24-yard line. 
Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw. That Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. But fortunately, a Panther was able Check. to get on this. So Carolina keeps the ball. But call it luck or skill, whatever Too bad I can't is, fucking challenge that shit because half the game, the they don't fucking want to challenge yeah, this shit every time it comes on the recovery. Out ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill, or the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it. And now a fumble. The ball's out. God damn, how lucky are you going to fucking get, you cuck sucking son of a bitch? able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a first down throw for Newton. Going up top. That's caught inside the 20. And now they are knocking on the door inside Pittsburgh's 10. A big play there for Carolina. 54 yards. A good chance now to put I can at least hold you to the field. I'll this fucking take that as a goddamn victory. From the gun, here's Newton. And that is incomplete here. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The legs still there? This has been a tough game. There's Newton now on second down. And he's Bullshit! Panthers. Fuck it, you've won this game. His 26 My fucking defense all of a sudden sucks. Marshall fought for the fourth most in a single season. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Oh yeah, just go ahead and fuck run the kicker to you, dumb fuck. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. That will probably end up losing this video. It's actually frustration, not a good play. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what this is. Fuck it. I give up. I'm done with the fucking league. I'm done with all this shit. Now you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. Fuck you. This fuck this shit. Fuck the game. Night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but fuck nothing you. has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Following the fumble recovery, Newton going for the deep ball. And That's why I fucked this shit. You fucking win all the Josh Gordon with time.